Hello everyone and welcome back to another Peak Forest video here on Train Sim World. Uh, we're going to jump in the 8F today and we're going to be doing a service up to make it was Rowsley, Rosley. Um, so yeah, let's let's hop in. Uh, hopefully the audio is all fine as you see. It's quite noisy, the locomotive. Uh, we've got the green light, so we are uh, whack that into that. Uh, we probably need to put on the... the right, I need to find it again. BR lamp codes. Uh, let's have a look. BR headlamp codes. What would this be? And uh, we are. I don't think we've got anything in the back. Oh, we have. Okay, we have got some stuff in the back. So this would be mineral, wouldn't it? Mineral. Mineral. I think it'll be mineral, which is saying it would be that. Coal. Mineral. Well, we'll go for that anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, there we go. So we got that on. Uh, let's get that off. That looks all fine to me. Uh, oh, we don't want to be going that way. We want to go that way. Get that off. So we're direct to Rousley, nine miles or so. It's said about 16 minutes, so probably 20 minutes or so. As we make our way out of Ambergate. Very nice. We are off. Yeah, it would have been cool to um, see, just, I mean, it's not really that important, just to see sort of inside some of these signal boxes. Just, you know, see, even if it was sort of quite a generic look, it would still sort of be nice just to see inside. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, this part of the line actually still is open in real life as far as uh, Matlock. So you could come and visit this bit, although it's much more scaled down. It's not double track anymore. Yeah, so how much do we weigh? 506 tonnes. Yeah, not too bad. So we're going to be passing through Watsdown, Well, Cromford, Matlock Bath, and then Matlock. I think that's all of the stations along here. I, remember, I just remember them because we've done the uh, we've done this prawn train sim classic on the modern version. Oh well, there's a tree in the middle of the road. Ouch! What's that behind the tree as well? What was that? What's that? There's a cow there as well. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> maybe that's supposed to be slightly uh, a bit further away. Right, I'll show you the route map again if this is your first time seeing the route. There it is. So we're going about... I mean, when you look at that, we actually are going quite, quite a way. What's that? Oh, it's not half, probably maybe just over a third of the way. No, yeah, about a, about a third of the way we're going. But then we are non-stop quite quick as well. We've got the brake van at the back as well. Which, like Spirit of Steam, you can just sit in and go for a ride if you want. Quite fun to do, especially on a route like this, you know, quite late at night. Maybe if you've got some work to finish, if you, you know, I don't just some work to finish. Hop on TSW, get it loaded up, sit in a brake van, get the little stove on, keep your headset on, and just go for a journey whilst doing the work. Very just chilled out. I've, I've done that before myself. I had to do some work. So what did I do? Jumped in a 377 on the Brighton main line and just went for a journey in first class. Um, yeah, just whilst I was doing some work. It was quite nice because sort of, it was like I was actually there with the table in front of me. Are we losing speed? I thought it was just 35, now it's 34. Maybe. No, we should be alright. We're going downhill at the moment. Yeah, we're fine. Lots of these outside shops, as then they're not too noisy, and you probably can actually then have a chance of hearing me. There's a little bit of the interior. Got the roof in. Anyway, there's no speedometer either, because who needs speedometers? And yeah, 
yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. Beautiful. Put that down. The road looks too clean as well. I suppose it is the 60s, so it might have just been redone. But it's yeah, very clean. So I think that was what's down well. Into a tunnel. The exterior shot's always the best on these steamers. Who wants to be inside? Especially when you've got the auto farming on. Just cruising along. The scenery on this route is very, very nice. Although, 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 comparing it to the Nidatal barn scenery, I wouldn't say it is as good, but it's still good. I, d I literally just compare everything to the Nidatal barn now, because I feel like the Nidatal barn is sort of, I mean, it's, it's sort of the perfect, I mean, scenery wise, the Nidatal barn is perfect. It, it's just, there's nothing, it's perfect. The sort of the Nidatal barn is like the benchmark of sort of you know perfection scenery. So I wouldn't say the route is at a Nidatal barn level, but it's not you know. Well, it, yeah, it's not it's not Nidatal barn level, but it's still very good. I feel we see another train as well. I think it's about 120 services in the timetable. But it's not all of the mile line runs. I feel like they've made the steam look better. I don't know. Is it just me or does the steam look better? Maybe it's just me. I swear that looks better than what it was before. I don't think they have made any changes to it. Just looking at that, it just looks better than what it did on Spirit of Steam. Probably just me that thinking it looks better. Or does it? Very dark. The lamp on. Where's the lamp? Lamp, where are you? <laughs> there, it's on. And yeah, we are playing on the Xbox Series X. So I'll turn it off now. Yeah, it's it's a, a much more different, more chilled out pace than to what Spirit of Steam was. And it's a beautiful, glorious countryside. It's a bit slower as well. It's just lovely. And we have got dynamic weather on for this one as well, so it's getting a little bit cloudier already. Steam pressures that we have got. Yeah, we should have automatic farming on. Should do. Does the steam look better? I know, chat, does the steam look better on this than to what it did on Spirit of Steam? Or is that me just thinking it might look better, but then it's actually exactly the same? I don't know. It probably, it probably is exactly the same. Fine upgrade at that, let's get that into 100 on the reg. So 1M177, so not... I mean, yeah, it's not really steep, but then it's not not steep. And it's still relatively steep. And this one was... Let's go, this is not Matlock Bath. No, this is not Matlock Bath. So this one is then Cromford. Are we not really past that? We might have really past that. What's this one? Oh, it is Cromford. There's everybody on the bridge there, jumping off the bridge as well. What are they doing? Oh, my God. That is dangerous. Oh, my, right, oh wow. Okay, right. We've seen it all. <laughs> Five miles an hour to Rowsley. Rowsley, Rowsley. How do you pronounce it? Rowsley or Rowsley? 
I've all done all the same. You don't see it like that. And yeah, the route should be available now. Steam, Epic Games, PlayStation, Xbox, £29.99. Let's see, yeah, 38 miles of, well, this basically. Steam, valleys, trees, forests, nice looking stations, set in the 60s as well, 1963. Of the 8F, 4F, and the Jubilee. And yeah, completely sort of different pace to Spirit of Steam. So if you sort of found spirits a bit too quick, uh, well then this is probably better for you. It's a bit more chilled out. Ish. And lots more grades and stations. It almost feels like a never ending route to this sort of I haven't actually done a full line run since the first look. Well actually when you're seeing this it will be the day after, so I probably have done another one. Yeah, so it feels never ending, it goes on and on and on and on and on. There's so much to see. So it won't be too far to Matlock, where the line, well, the modern, you know, network rail or national rail line ends. And then you then get the Heritage Railway, which I think does go to Rowsley, doesn't it? Do correct me if I'm wrong, though. I probably am wrong on that. Can we get out? We can't get out. We can get out now though, quick. Fly by shot, fly by shot, fly by shot. <laughs> Got a cool signal box there, sort of mounted on a platform. So quite quick this bit though. Well, see, yeah, it is slower than Spirit of Steam. <laughs> But still, yeah, relatively fast, I suppose. Got the new uh, truck model there, I don't know if I've seen that one before. This we've set about five years ahead of Spirit of Steam, so there are a few sort of changes to fashion and vehicles. Quite nice there, the river, sort of all the algae in the, in the river. This is a bit algae. Three miles. Hopefully no one minds these shots. I know probably for quite a lot of the videos we have got a lot of these sort of exterior shots, but I feel like it sort of complements the train better. As then you can actually still see, you can see the landscape more, and especially a route like this, where you want to see sort of as much landscape as you can. Whereas inside it's a bit more, you know, limited. And it's quite noisy as well. On the outside we get all of this, which is just lovely. Two and a half ish miles to Rowsley now. See if there's any points we need to set. No, let's have a straight in. Any other instructions? Just to uncouple. And you probably then get a 4F coming along and changing it about. Which we haven't really done much of the 4F. But then, as I said, there's not really much you can do with the 4F apart from shunting. Uh, and the banking services, that's really a about it for the 4F. But I think they are going to try and add a few passenger services in it at some point. Which I think would be nice, because yeah, I suppose if you're not really into your freight and shunting, then you literally won't ever use the 4F. And I think realistically they did sometimes do passenger services, so if it's realistic, they go ahead. Even if it's, I suppose, you know, one or two passenger services, not many, just a little one. Oh, a bit of the line as well. Uh, oh, yeah, I suppose what's everyone's favourite part of the line? To Chinley or to Buxton? What do you prefer? Uh, not too far now, so we'll be coming across fairly soon, so we've got 25 coming up. 
So let's, uh, I don't know what the brakes are like on this. I mean, we probably don't have any brakes apart from the loco, so we'll sort of start popping that down now. Yeah, lovely. Very, very, very nice. Feels like a bit barren, though. From apart from that one there. But yeah, sort of just very... But, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it just, it just looks too flat and barren. <laughs> I don't like I, I don't like that when sort of you just get that just very flat, nothing going on. I mean, surely there would be. If it, uh, it, it's obviously maybe it's, it's obviously a grass field, but it would be nice to actually see some grass instead of flat grass. You know, that's what we got on the side of the track here, but on the field. Just then, there's a bit more going on. Otherwise, yeah, it just looks flat and just not that nice. But I think overall this route scenery is very very good. But it's just yeah that those flat grass fields which I still I, I'm not a fan of. Even this has got a bit of uh, bit of stuff to it. Even having that in the field would look better instead of just flat. We have arrived. Oh, that was very, very pleasant. Another peak forest video done, and another enjoyable peak forest video done. I mean, maybe you're not, maybe you're not even going to get the route, but you're just watching it because why not? I mean, thanks for coming in. I suppose Steam isn't for everybody. I suppose it is a little bit more challenging, um, but it's definitely worth giving a go. And now we've got two options, Spirit of Steam or Peak Forest. There's the 4F. Hello 4F. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to drive the 8F today. Now, I suppose what, uh, what, I wonder what other locomotives could be DLC for this route. Right, let's try not to get a spad here, because that wouldn't be nice. So this shit is right on the red as well. Oh, I don't like that. Look, 110. 100, oh my god. Yeah, we literally have to go right up to the red light. This is this is not nice. Dovetail. This is this is not friendly. Maybe the objective could be slightly before the uh, red light. I wonder if we, if we stop here, will it will it like that? It might not like if we stop here, so we can go right up to it. Maybe it could be a slightly nicer objective though. Yeah, let's stop here and let's see what it was. Doesn't allow it. Dovetail, can we please make that slightly more friendly? Otherwise, I know there's going to be a lot of angry people uh, doing some of these services and spadding right at the end on the objective, which isn't fun. But well, that's fine, though. And we've got to uncouple the vehicles or wagons. We'll have to do that. There we go. Well, that was great, wasn't it? That was that was good fun. Um, let's get a screenshot as well. Oh, what's it doing now? Oh, you're going to an engine shed. Oh, that's quite a nice screenshot actually. Let's uh, let's get that. There we go. Well, yeah, uh, that is going to be it from me. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. And apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.